Okay, question 11. A circle with center C has equation x squared plus y squared plus a text minus 12 is equal to 12. Now for three marks, we want to find the center of the circle and the length of the radius. So, the equation of a circle with center so a circle with center A, B, and radius R has equation X minus A squared and Y minus b squared is equal to the radius squared. So what we're going to need to do is complete the square twice on the left hand side for x and y and then get a number on the right hand side. So let's first of all rewrite the equation. So we've got x squared add 8x add y squared minus 12y is equal to 12. So x squared plus 8x is going to be x plus 4 squared minus 16 and then y squared minus 12y is y minus 6 squared minus 36 and then that is all equal to 12. So we've got x plus Four squared as y minus six squared uh, minus sixteen minus thirty six is minus fifteen two. So uh, that is equal to twelve. So finally, we get x plus 4 squared and y minus 6 squared is equal to 64. So the center is minus 4, 6 and the radius is the square root of 64, which is it. Cool. Okay, then part B is a little bit more fun and worth 5 marks. So we are told points P and Q lie in the circle. The origin is the midpoint of P, Q. We want to show that the length, uh, the PQ has length n root 3, where n is an integer. So, with a question like this, the very first thing we should do is draw a sketch. So that's exactly what I've done here. So we know our centre is at minus 4, 6. And O is the midpoint between P and Q, so they are going to have to roughly be placed where they are on the diagram. Now, we know that O is the midpoint of P, Q. We also know that C to P is going to be equal 
to see here because they are both a radius of the circle. So CP is equal to CQ which is equal to 8. So again that is because CP and CQ are a radii of the circle. Now if we could work out the lengths C to O, we're then going to be dealing with right angle triangles for which we can play Pythagoras. So the length C O is well C O squared Again, we're thinking now Pythagoras. Uh, well, it's going to be the height squared and the length squared. So it's 6 squared. And minus 4 squared. So this is 36 and... 16, which is 52. So, we now know the lengths. No, we don't. We know that OC squared is 52. And therefore, uh, sorry, CO squared. So, CO is equal to root 52. And root 52 is going to simplify to root 4, root 13, and that is going to give us 2 root 13. So we now know the length. C O R O C. Okay, so at this point, I'm now going to make another little sketch of uh, this triangle C P Q. So there it is. So we got C P Q. Now we know these two lengths are 8 and we know the height is 2 root 13. So what we can now do is use Pythagoras to work out half the length of PQ. So let's just call this bit x. So using Pythagoras we know that x squared is equal to 8 squared minus 2 root 13 squared. So x squared is 64 Minus, well we know that 2 root 13 uh, was root 52, so if we square that, we've got 52. So x squared is 12. Therefore, x is equal to root 12. which is root 4 root 3 so it's 2 root 3 now pq is 2x so that is 4 root 3 jobs are good and good times